really heavy. Yeah. small little knives. So honey, what I'm looking for is a set of four spoons for the Just don't look at this plate. The only ones I liked were the ones that I saw, but I think I'll find
just a, just a, can you pick those up? Oh, really? Those are different. <gasps> They're really bad shapes. They're not marked, but but they are. They're little tasters. <laughs> See, and I love stumbling upon things like that. Check the bottom, see if it's... No. It's not right. Silver on no. no. It's not this nice. No. Yeah, I know, I'm looking. It's beautiful. Made in England. They're all different. These two are the same. Ça se rafraîchit. Et tu les avais en main tout à l'heure, je t'ai vu, c'est toi qui les avais en main. Tout est tout de reste 3-0. be some some stones right there some gems yeah wow okay so enjoy the video and uh, tell me if you see anything that you like I am honing in on all the shinier brass candlesticks silverware Jazz. Jazz. Say hi. Hi. Wow, look at this. It's a football award. Are we? Wait, where? Uh, yeah, right there, 1970. 70. Too. The colors are beautiful. 1951 from L. I think it might be in Spain. It's Spanish, honey. It's okay. I really like the painting. Oh, 
no, these are it's broken. Yeah, it's one's broken though. This would make great hardware. I like these things. Hello friends and hello family and for those who are joining us for the first time we are Justin and Jenny and as you see we are currently in Paris France so we're just finishing up the tour of our surprise brocante fair and now you'll be sat with us in our apartment in Paris that we have put on the market and we are hoping to sell. So wish us luck. And let's get to what we found in three, two, one. We are listening to you, our friends, the viewers, because I think many of you really, really enjoy brocanting with us and then sitting with us, especially seeing what we pick out for ourselves. Mm. And this is what we've always done and we will continue to do. And I'll start off with Justin. What is your favorite thing? We found some really beautiful flower knife holders or maybe it's just cutlery holders mm -hmm. made out of pewter made out of pewter and they're really beautiful uh, are these lilies daffodils they look like daisies to me daisies sorry i was gonna <laughs> i'd get there eventually but i really like these um in part because they remind me of my mom mm -hmm. and uh, she just celebrated her birthday so happy birthday mom happy birthday Jean. yeah and uh, funny enough, when we found these, it was actually on her birthday day. Yes, So Saturday. These guys are definitely my favorite. And uh, what's pretty cool about this is that um, you can use it for your cutlery or you can use it for decoration. Definitely. I like that you came up with the idea of just setting them around your table because you said that if your mom had something like this, she wouldn't necessarily use them as a cutlery holder, mm -hmm. but maybe just displaying them around the house. I mean, you can put them in a garden, in a planter. You can just oh. leave them on the table like yeah. that. I really like them. But what I especially like about these, Justin, is that I've told you before, this particular mark, the Attain mark, they have an atelier was founded and made here in Paris. Mm. And we have had previous um, Attain Paris Atelier items before. So I was really, really happy yeah. to have come across these with you. And as you see, we have a set of six. I found it really interesting when we came across the silver bits, how the uh, they were all tarnished and I asked him what product he used, mm -hmm. and he whipped out a uh, bottle of the same sort of product that we use for brass, but there was a silver version. Uh, this is miroir. Yeah. And it was amazing because where I tend to have to put in a lot of effort with the polish I normally use, he just seemed to pour it, rub a little bit, and it was really shiny. So very exciting. I learned something new from Mr. Brocant, and I can't wait to buy some more of this product. Yeah, can we find it on Amazon? Anyways, okay. until I find them, good. So Jenny, we did find a lot of things at the Brocant, and we subsequently have walked by a lot of shops. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in our future adventures that uh, you're searching for? I really regret not getting some of those ice cream spoons that I've been finding. Mm. I really do. You have your typical cafe spoons like this that are quite narrow, but I've learned that ice cream spoons are a lot more rounded in size, such as this one, and they're a lot more flat. Yeah. And it helps you easily scoop up the ice cream, I guess. I really do want to get Do you think they're really for ice cream, or is that just what we use? Because some of these, uh, when we talked to the vendors, they said, oh, this is the special Princess of Monaco spoon. And I don't know that the princess was jamming down on some ice cream. Perhaps she was. But I ice wonder cream. if it was served for a different purpose, but they're perfect for ice cream. 
It's like a trinket box. Yeah. It's artisan made. These would make actually really good Easter gifts. You could put little jelly beans or chocolates <gasps> in there. I love that idea. Oh, that's yeah. really cute. Yeah. Jelly beans and chocolates in there. It's, it's, they're actually quite nice. They're growing on me. Wow. I'm actually really impressed by your idea of gift giving, honey. Mm. Holy moly. What is your favorite candy, by the way? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, actually, it's a sure. no brainer. What is it? Yeah, peanut I mean, I know. Of course, uh, peanut M&Ms. For those of you that don't know, Fun fact about Justin, his favorite candy are peanut M&M's. Yes, they help me get through some really rough times in my life. <laughs> Do you remember what mine are? My ultimate favorite. Um, 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 no. Ooh. I was going to say Ricola. Um, oh, Ricola. I was going to say Almond Joy. Come on. Um, you buy them for me sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, <gasps> yes, of course. This is a this no, is so I had, I had to give him a hint. Head. Yeah. What is it? Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears are my favorite. Gummy bears have always been my favorite, but what's better than gummy bears are chocolate covered gummy bears. And that just I haven't found those in the decade. See, I guess my problem is I don't consider gummy bears a candy. I consider them more of a lifestyle. So yeah. <laughs> True. What do, you mean? what do you mean a lifestyle? I don't know. There's a certain, for people that are just like gummy bears is it for me, there's yeah. like a certain thing that they're into. I don't know. All right. Well, I think we're going to end our video here. I will s <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got nothing to say. Uh, you were going to say something when I was going to end the video. Oh, uh, no. I was going to say goodbye. Oh, not yet. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Tears in my eyes. Thank you, Justin. And um, I'll show you a close-up of all the things that we found. So we hope that you enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you back again in the Haute Perrine upon our return. And for those of you who are celebrating this week, have a great Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Bisous. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say gummy bears were a lifestyle. That's really freaking funny. Okay, friends, I'm giving you a little close-up here of our haul. We'll start off with the pewter knife holders, but I think that they can be used for tabletop decor, for spoons, and for forks. That way you don't have to dirty up your table. We have these mother of pearl appetizer forks. Absolutely beautiful. I have something similar already for sale on my Etsy, which I will open up shop again just a couple of days before our return back home. So, and then these will all be posted on the Etsy account upon my return after they're cleaned up, polished, and photographed. Next set of lovely, just simple but elegant silver spoons. Just loved that design. Very sophisticated and elegant in style that can be used or carried out through all the years ahead. I think it's just a timeless, timeless design. And these, which I've never seen before, just need to be cleaned up a little bit. It's glass, it's thick as you see. I mean, just so cool. These are just so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. They're just glass, a very thick glass. I mean, how fun, right? Kind of quirky in a way. <laughs> and these were my absolute favorite. I'm not sure about if that's just tarnished. If it's patina, it need to be polished maybe it'll go back to the silver bit, but it kind of has a 
iridescent sort of look to its metal. Look at that hardware. Just thin, but so beautiful. Really love that. And then again with the cafeteria set, or they call it cafeteria, is for a breakfast. Um, the guy demonstrated and polished one of them for us. Um, so this one patinaed quite a bit, but I'm sure it's gonna clean up beautifully. This one, there aren't any dents, hardly any scratches on them. In really good shape, despite their age. But how elegant. Buy what you love and use them. Mm. Interesting. Candlestick holder. Love that. Little hardware there. Kind of reminds me of a flower petal, but it's for, you know, more of a pillar candle than a tapered candle. Yeah, it's really pretty. So, 